Hello children, how are you all? Happy to see you again. This is Dakshaini, Handling Biology from Badasana Metric Higher Secondary School, Arakonam. Children, today we are going to see 11th Standard Botany, the first lesson, Living World. Right, and in this chapter we have discussed about the viruses, their mode of reproduction, everything. And now we are studying about the bacteria. And in this session we are going to discuss about the reproduction in bacteria. So, first, uh, this is a reproduction in bacteria. Reproduction, what do you mean by reproduction, children? The process by which any organism produces its next generation, we call it as reproduction. And here, bacteria undergoes two types of reproduction. One is a asexual and another one is a sexual. What do you mean by asexual children? It does not involve the fusion of gametes and the daughters formed. The individuals formed are exactly genetically and morphologically identical to the parent. So, first is the asexual reproduction. The first one we are going to see here is a binary fission and second one is about the endospore formation. So, this is the binary fission in bacteria. Why we say this is binary children? By means 2. By means 2. So, if uh, bacteria divides into 2, it is said to be binary fission. And here you see children, when the bacteria gets mature, the genetic material, first the genetic material gets sub separated and later what the cytoplasm the cell wall division takes place and finally it results in two daughter cells and these two daughter bacteria are genetically and morphologically identical to the parent. So, this is the binary fission in bacteria. And the second type of asexual reproduction is endospore formation. What do you mean by this children? Endospore formation. Right here, this is the endospore. During the unfavorable condition, bacteria reproduces by means of producing spores called as endospores. Since it is present inside, it is said to be endospores. And this is the image of the endospore. It is a thick walled cell, right? And when the favorable condition comes back, the endospore germinates and forms and develops into a individual bacteria right and the examples of the organism which reproduces by endospore formation is bacillus just take down your notebook and write down the name children bacillus megatherium bacillus sparicus clostridium tetani clostridium tetani since the, these are the binomial names one is a genus name and another one is a species name so far we have discussed about the asexual reproduction one is a binary fission and another one is a endospore formation and now we are going to discuss about the sexual reproduction sexual reproduction involves two individuals right and the first one is conjugation second one is transformation and third one is transduction so first we are going to study about the conjugation right and here it was given by the person j lederberg j lederberg and edward l tottenham in the year 1946 it's an important question children right so who discovered or who proposed the conjugation right and this is the diagrammatic image of conjugation. So, here it is said to be the donor. What do you mean by donor children? Donor refers to the donor and this is the recipient, right? What do you mean by donor? The organism which gives something to other, we say it as a donor. And the recipient is which receives, we say it as a recipient and here this is a bacteria with a gene responsible for the fertility factor F yeah. plus and this does not have the gene so we say this bacterium as F minus and the bacterium has a structure called pili so that is a conjugation tube right to make a connections with the another 
bacterium at the time of conjugation what happens this fillet grows in size and it binds the another bacterium and here the plasmid right a yes, double stranded plasmid which separates and the single stranded moves into the recipient the gene responsible for fertility that in the double strand one strand moves into the another right and here the later it becomes a double stranded plasmid so this is said to be the conjugation right that is the one transfers the genetic material to the another by means of the conjugation tube or villi right and next one next method is a transformation what do you mean by transformation children what exchanging exchanging of uh, substances from one to the another we say it as transformation and transformation experiment was proved by frederick griffith what was the name frederick griffith in the year 19 28 it's an important experiment in uh, in this technology children and here they use the bacterial strains which bacteria they obtained the strains from diplococcus pneumonia diplococcus pneumonia is a bacterium and from that they obtained the strains right and strains it consists of two strains one is a r strain that is a rough strain but rough strain does not cause any disease so it is said to be a virulent what we can say a virulent that is it is less poisonous in nature and another strain smooth strain it is a virulent it is responsible for causing a disease so from the diplococcus pneumonium bacterium Griffith obtained the two strains. One is a R strain, that is a rough strain, and another one is a smooth strain, right? And he used mice for his experiment, right? Just look at this, children. It is a rough strain. It is a rough strain that is non-virulent. That is, it does not cause any disease. When this strain was introduced into the rat, what happened? Did the mouse die or it lives? It lives, right? And later. he used the smooth strain we know that the surface is smooth due to the presence of the poisonous substance so when that strains were injected what happens to the mice the mice the mouse dies and later what he did he he killed he killed the smooth strain he undergone a treatment he given a treatment for the smooth strain by heating and killing the uh, germs present in it and later after injecting it the mouse was alive right it lived so he proved that r strain and he killed a strain when injected to the mouse the mouse did not die it lives so later what he did he mixed the rough strain and he killed a smooth strain and he mixed the both strains and injected to the mouse what what do you think children yes they both are a virulent so that the mouse must be alive right but the mouse dies so from this experiment he came to a conclusion that something from yes from the smooth strains some genetic material has been transformed to the rough strain and made it poisonous right so this is the experiment given by griffith Frederick Griffith in the year 1928 it's an important five mark question children give the experiment to prove the transformation principle of griffith you have to write this experiment right and next we are going to study about the last method of sexual reproduction that is a transduction what do you mean by transduction children transduction means if the genetic transfer is mediated by some page what do you mean by page page is a t4 bacterium page right like this right this is a bacterium page 
right so the transfer of the genetic material is mediated by this page t4 bacterio page we say it as a transduction and this transduction is of two types one as a generalized transduction and another one as a specialized transduction so let us see now what is generalized and what is specialized generalized means if the page has a capacity to obtain any part of the dna any region of the dna it is said to be generalized and if it obtain only few particular or a specialized fragments of dna we call it as a specialized so what is a transduction children right just answer my question what is a specialized if it use only the few fragments specialized fragments we say it as specialized transduction so now let us see the generalized transduction it is a page children and later here what happens the page injects its genetic material into the bacterial cell now what happens the bacterial cell what it uses all the fragments of the bacterial dna and later it becomes a and later it becomes a um, it releases its genetic material right so this is the generalized transduction the, the page utilizes all the any of the fragments of the dna not a particular fragment that is for example it may be any right it, it uses all the fragments any of the fragments of the dna it is said to be generalized and now we can see the specialized so this is a specialized transduction children here you you see it uses only the particular fragment right only the particular fragment of the page that is a bacterial dna is utilized by the page so it is an example for specialized transduction so for what are the things we discussed children we discussed about the asexual reproduction and in asexual what are the things we discussed about what's the first one binary fission and we discussed about the endospore formation endospore formation and next type is a sexual and in sexual we discussed about the what is the first thing conjugation conjugation transformation and finally transduction now i will ask you some questions children tarani just answer my question who proved the transformation principle right who is a yes very good frederick griffith yes very good and what are the two types of transduction generalized and specialized transduction right so with this topic this session comes to an end children with this we have attached the study material assessment and the question bank for this lesson go through it practice the diagrams parents please uh, check whether your ch children are making or uh, using the separate note for this subject make them to write all the scientific names and the diagrams from the study material thank you children have a nice day